Good evening, everyone. September the 6th, 2021. Happy Labor Day to you all. Um, I know I talked to a couple people that actually responded to my last entitled segment on regards to the credit game thief that I'd be delivering, I guess, releasing this video today. I do apologize as YouTube has, you know, their censorship. They want to monitor the video and it takes 24 hours before they can release. Um, kind of like Mike, you know, he talked about Labor Day today and he has advertisement up how you know they're usually open on Saturdays and then today he gave another advertisement in regards to we have only five slots open for this and ten slots open for that you know it's always the gimme gimmick fast talker here you go let me take your money and run away so I do apologize in the delay in this for those few that did comment I do thank you for the few that commented um you know I, I get three dislikes versus 44 likes um I'm averaging about the same numbers as Mike these days considering the fact that he had a live event going on and during the live event, he's talking about a new live event he's gonna talk out somewhere near close to his home because obviously it seems to be getting closer and closer and closer from like Tennessee, now it's in Florida, my home state. Let's just stay away from other states. I think Mike had 30 something likes, which really confuses me because we're talking about a gentleman here. Well, a guy, I don't know about a gentleman, actually a doctor, I'll get into that in a minute, um, who has, you know, 400,000 followers. And I challenged those 400,000 followers to comment on my last video, dislike my last video, whatever it may be. So I have some information I wanna go through with you guys. Um, I wanna give you some advice on some stuff and point you the right direction, what to follow, who you should follow and where you should get your information from. Um, Mike, um, first of all, I wanna make this clear. Someone reached out to me about Mike and literally said, you should go do this to his house. You should go do this and confront him. You should go confront his wife. You should then figure out, I'm like, you know, I don't need to do that. Um, my days of violence were left overseas. Um, I want civil discourse, there's no doubt. I mean, I think Mike should explain himself, not to me, but to everybody else out there <clears throat> that he's taken money from. I think that I wanna make this very clear when I say again, I denounce any violence to Mike. Um, I want no one to put a hand on him, lay him, hurt him in any way, shape or form. And I'm sure that's what goes through when it's emotional because we're attached to our money. Some of us have actually made major sacrifices to pay this $3,000 or whatever it may be to get into the Lambo program, the Maserati program at 1500, the letters or the associates program at a thousand and so on and so forth. By the way, prices that Mike never lists on his website ever. So just be aware of that also. Um, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's not okay to be upset. Sure it is. Uh, am I upset? I absolutely was. Um, and people will say, well, you still are. I'm a little frustrated. You know, I'm, I'm really kind of irritated. Yes. Do I still have that drive to go after Mike? Absolutely. Do I want to see him have to face his day in court? Absolutely. Do I want every person to get their money back plus, plus, plus? Absolutely. Um, Mike is playing on people's, how would I put it, uh, their dreams and aspirations and tell them what they can get. You know, I had to remind myself that I was gonna make this video. In fact, it was a green, lime green Lambo that passed me on the freeway. I thought, oh, Mike, but then I realized, nah, I didn't see actually, you know, a, a, a car rental sign around placard around the plate. So I know it wasn't Mike, you know, with his wonderful Lambo and everything else he supposedly owns. Mike seems to do well for himself. So, I mean, for the most part, he's using your money to do it, so why not? But I do wanna make clear, please do not bring violence against this man, any way, shape or form, his wife or his children. These are innocent bystanders by his own actions. Um, it's important to me that I'd be honest with you that if someone were to come after Mike and I was standing there on the street having civil discourse with him and discussion about what's happening and what position he would take or not take to give me my money back or give people their money back, I would lay down my life for him and his wife and his family because that is the kind of person that I was trained to do, the fortitude the military put in me, and by my heart, by God, who I believe in, and I believe in Christ as my savior. I know y'all people are like, oh, he's on a Bible thump. Well, a little bit because Mike likes to say the words always God bless. And I find that very hard for any man of faith who uh, is doing such a soulless thing to people. So minus all that, thank you for that long winded uh, kind of entry, but I want to get into it. So Mike claims to have four doctorates in the system that he's providing for you now, because it's the new thing. First, it was wholesale trade credit lines. Then it was elite deletions. Then it was the Lambo program. Then it was the inner circle program. Uh, mastermind was part of that, which by the way, I'll have to show you on an email that I have. I'm not opening any of my mastermind um, products that he sends to you for these meetings Mondays. Folks, if you have these programs already, do not open them. And I'll get into that why. I want to explain as far as it goes with the law in your state and how it works. Um, leave them closed. Just don't even open them. Leave them as unread. Um, going back to it, Mike claimed in a video a long time ago, you know, it takes 40,000 hours 
you know, we're talking 10,000 hours per something to master it, whether it's playing a guitar, whether it's learning a new language, whether it's studying money, whatever it may be. So 40,000 claimed hours, which you're talking if he has four doctorates, four doctorates. So I'm going to call you Dr. Mike. You are obviously a professor of the arts of stealing money. So let's get to that, Dr. Mike. Um, you had a video a while back. It was called Mike from the credit game finally discloses who he really is. I mean, you had a really good puff piece there. If it was like you know, some somber music playing in the back if there was any possibly, but there wasn't, but like a 2020 special. And you're talking about where you were at for drugs for 16 years in your life and your wife came up and threw the ring at you and then took the kid and took off. But the problem with that story is if that's your testimony, so be it. But I wanna remind the rest of the world out there that that's not what put you in jail, Mike. What put you in jail, Mike, was all this series of charges of fraud that was going down the list of where you committed fraud on different things and, you know, false IDs and everything else you had on you, what you pulled at the time. You may have been on drugs, that's the caveat, but you forgot to mention that's what put you there was the fraud, not drug charges. In that, you didn't even do a dime, you didn't do a nickel, you didn't do a stretch, you didn't even do a pinch because you got bailed out. And then you had a violation and went back and got bailed out again. It's a small world when you know people in law enforcement and the military. So going to that part, you know, you like to flash the idea on your wrist. And as far as it goes, you know, I have this, I have that. And I have a tattoo that says my money. Uh, you should write on there other people's money. Because you're right. You talk about other people's money all the time. You're very blatant about it. Um, you try to seem to make it like it's a noble thing. That's how these investors work. At a higher level. I'm not saying politicians, IRS, anyone else, state centers have been screwing us for years and everything the way they take money from us too. Mike does it at a different level. He does it at a 99 cent store kind of level, the way he presents it and the way he packages it and the way he has it. It's sad because watching this video of Mike's testimony of who the Mike really is, Mike does have decent information. I've said that last time, I'll say it again. But he needs to package that as the education process if you'd like to purchase that. But I'm gonna mention also too, there's a lot of people out there that have better information for free and are willing to help. I mean, I noticed that even in my comment section, of my last video, people are reaching out and trying to help me and I'm trying to help them on the path all too of where it goes with Mike, you know, of how to get their money back and what they need to do, what they need to file in their state. Um, you know, I'm not one to talk crap on the wife. I'm not gonna, but I'm very surprised that Val has no idea what Mike is doing or has no clue that what he's been doing and how he's processing it and the nice things in their house or the few things they do have or Mike's flow. Because remember, she does have her name on the building in Florida. And she has her name on some other stuff. But then realize this, the reason why Mike won't call anyone back himself or reach out, he has a team of handlers, they do that. Because if Mike does it, he self-incriminates himself for criminal charges within that state when he's indicted and he will be indicted, trust me. So he can have the plausible denial of pleading the fifth constantly. I didn't talk to that person. I have no reaction election to that. I've never even promised that. The videos are getting kind of like, almost kind of watered down if you haven't noticed. Um, he went from I'm not a credit agency to where even in the last couple of days of a video he released, I think it was on Friday, he said, I can't guarantee that this will be the case. Well, he's never said that before. Because remember, his whole catch is customer satisfaction or your money back, which we're starting to learn is kind of more like a scam. Um, companies are listed in other names with LLCs, okay? And Florida's very wonky on the laws. So when you file basically lawsuits against these entities, they're protected by a certain amount of money. And you have to prove that that actual entity was the one that defrauded you of that money. You can't prove a building or a company name did that. You have to prove the person within that building or that company did so. Mike has been able to not attach himself to any of these companies or any of these buildings, even though he's tied into them on tax indemnity forms that he's filed. It's a small world, Mike. You make people sign NDAs, especially when you try to barter with them, but the reality is people within your circle are starting to get scared and they're talking now. Um, you know, I looked at another video, Lil Boozy. Let's talk about Lil Boozy, okay? Lil Boozy, AKA, you know, Boozy Badass, AKA Torrance Hatch, born in Louisiana, okay? Kid was a baller, he's coming through high school, he had a probably a college bound thing to go to, but gets popped for drug charges where it starts. Um, you understand something about this guy. He's not shown in the video, he's shown in the clickbait. Okay, and all you're hearing is Lil Boozy's girl. Girl like daughter, girlfriend, side girl. I mean, what is it? It doesn't really matter because Mike can't prove it. But he says he endorsed him, so he's using Lil Boozy's name. And Lil Boozy's the type of crew guy for a rapper that he is. He probably would sue Mike for just using his name. So Mike, just like any other promoter, any other club owner, paid that fine line of whatever it takes to use his name. 
maybe not even show his face. But remember, remember this guy, Lil Boozy, come on, charged with guns, murder, drugs, spends four years in prison, gets two years for violation of patrol, parole, and then finds himself basically paroled in 2018. I mean, this is who you're using, Mike, as your, sorry, sorry, Dr. Mike, Dr. Mike, let me keep that there. Dr. Mike, this is who you're using as the person who endorses what you do. I find this very, very, very interesting. You know, I mean, so just so you know, Mike, in your state of Florida, I've contacted Fort Benning, Georgia. I talked to the IG of that state. That IG is gonna contact the IG of Florida. They're putting you on a no use ban list amongst active and reservist soldiers to the bases not to use your business. You're being listed as a fraud and a scammer. I find it funny you have 400,000 400, followers, right? I go to your IG account, because by the way, everybody, he's got an Instagram account too, okay? The credit game. Mike's sitting there with smiles and pictures around people of interest and, and wealth and what they do in Florida and Boca Raton. But let me tell you how it works. He pays entry fees to get into these parties. He pays plate fees for whatever they're doing, where it's save the, the albatross, save the manatee, whatever in Florida they can do. And he takes pictures with them. He tries to prove that he's hanging out with people of power. He pays his way into there. I mean, he's that guy who sits there and basically does, drives a Lambo that's not his, hangs on a boat that's not his, but tells you, send me your money and you could have these fine things. Why doesn't Mike have them? Ask that question. You know, I, I gotta say, it, it, it saddens me. It saddens me a lot that, that, that this happened the way it did. It's unfortunate because in my line of work, I do investigate everything. I didn't do my homework properly, not at all. So for you guys in different states that are going on, contact your state attorney, file charges. Contact your local authority, file charges. Contact your bank, file this fraud, okay? That's how you get it started. Because in these states, when they start having these, and trust me, you gotta push law enforcement because they don't always wanna do it on their own. You gotta push them. Then they reach out to the connection to the FBI investigation on Mike. When that ties all into play, they bring Mike in. And all those companies, the shell companies he has, because I thought it wasn't really shell companies, I didn't think he was that swift, but I'm starting to see and hear from my contacts there in Florida what he's doing with his money, other people's money, to hide that money. I mean, it's ridiculous. It, the trail goes on and on and on and on. I could spend another 30 minutes talking about our hour. So that then gives you liens. So when you get judgments, That'd be a win, right? But the problem with that is, let me tell you why, because what Mike doesn't understand is me being a law student that I am and graduating the bar in February, once this is done and I will pass Mike, I'm going to sue you directly, civilly for whatever's left for the crumbs on the table and put liens against everything that you own and the names that they are and the indemnities of those names that they are. I promise you, Mike, I will go down and find that every person that you ripped off and I guarantee you, I will find a way for you to pay back that money to them. Whether it's your items being leaned against and sold and auctioned or finding a way that we can consume you to whatever you do, even the next job you have at McDonald's when you get out of jail, that they can garnish your wages at $15 an hour. Whatever is going to happen, Mike, because you push that line. You want to cross that line. You broke your promise. In the state of California for consumer law, where you made a deal with me and even in Florida, the words you used were in your video, customer satisfaction or your money back. It wasn't customer satisfaction, I'll give you your money back. Because let me tell you where you, you have a point on this. You could have refunded my money at any time. I went past 90 days, folks, past 90 days. Mike has done nothing. My credit number has not changed. Medical debt, whatever it may be, and anything else. Mike is not selling something special. Folks, it's letters. It's letters is what it comes down to. You challenging, you fighting, it comes down to letters and a system that you need to learn. And I will give the names of those people that will help you. Okay, after 180 days of being in debt or a charge off, that debt cannot be sold. It has to fall off there. It has to be challenged to fall off. It won't fall off on its own. But legally, they cannot come in and collect money on a debt that you owe for pennies on a dollar then go back to you and charge you that amount plus interest. It's against the law all across each state. Tax probate attorney, that's where I'm headed. Okay, I know how it works. So... I tried to cut a corner with Mike and that backfired, obviously. So I would have to tell you, this thing with Alan, okay, my, my agent who worked with me, okay, he set it up. Alan will not text me back, okay? After my last video, after that video aired, and my hero, my hero, 
the Credit Crusader. I don't care what Mike says. He talks crap about him wearing a mask, whatever it be. He's wearing a Deadpool mask. One of the best comic characters ever, right? Come on. I mean, next to Batman, because I'm a Batman fan, Credit Crusader is right up there, okay? As soon as that aired, I kid you not, I have the text messages, I have the phone call log. They were calling me like crazy. And when I say they, first it was KJ. KJ out of Elite Deletions. He calls me, right? I'm not answering. So he starts texting me. Long story short, he basically says, I want to talk to you like man to man. I mean, once he realized he couldn't keep up in the text messages I was throwing back at him because he doesn't have a sixth grade reading comprehension level, he gave up. He stopped. Okay. So then what happens next? That same day, that afternoon, I get a call from Brock. Brock. Are these even real names? I have no idea. Brock is the general manager of the credit game. So he tries to spew off something as I pick up the phone thinking, okay, it's Mike. You know, well, I understand you're very upset. And I hung up on him. I ain't gonna lie, I hung up. He calls me back and he goes, I think our line got disconnected. You're an idiot. You know it didn't. He's playing games. So I sit there, I say, no, it didn't. You know it didn't. I hung up on you because I made it very clear I wanted to talk to Mike. So anything you have to say is a waste of your time. Bam, I hang up the phone. I get another text from him. It's a whole paragraph of legal mumbo jumbo, okay? I mean, weak attorney, whoever advised him how to respond. What it proves to me and what it should prove to you, don't invest your money in Dr. Mike. And the credit game. There's credit. He is the game. But he's a doctor of it. He's the best spin doctor I've ever met. Of how he can sell it. How he can spew it. And the things that he says. It's very interesting, right? Because I got suckered into it. And I find myself highly intelligent. So, Brock sends this thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give those text messages on my phone to the credit crusader. Okay? And the reason why is the credit crusader is not afraid to call out both sides of anything. He's not afraid to scrutinize fact against what the claim is. And he listens to both sides, okay? But let me take you to something that he did. Credit Crusader, as I switch over here, I'm sorry. Credit Crusader tried helping out this one fellow in Florida, okay? Mike's home state. This guy had nothing, okay? Like, he's doing his best because he's trying so hard to get an apartment. I talked to him. I talked to a lot of people on the phone. He's trying to get an apartment, trying to get whatnot. He's like, I can't go in detail. They made me sign an NDA. He claims that this person that contacted this female was Mike's wife, Val. Now, is that true? Don't know. Can't verify it. He can't verify it was Val. But then he said the next thing he knows, he's getting these emails on a non-disclosure agreement not to talk about what settlement would be. Long story short, I asked him yes or no questions that couldn't incriminate himself against the NDA. You know what he tells me? Basically, in so many words, I asked the question, did you get back your full refund? Mm hmm. Oh, that's a no. Okay. So we'll hum once for yes and two for no. So did you get back all $3,000 plus? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Oh, okay. So they paid him off on an NDA to shut his mouth to get it removed. Credit Crusader jumped in to help this guy. In fact, I think the title was on it was something about pay me my money back or looking for a discount. Let me correct that. I'm going to say it right here. The Credit Game Review Customer Wants Refund. The Credit Game Review Customer Wants Refund. Okay? This was backed by the Credit Crusader. The crazy part is Mike or his handlers jumped on the Credit Crusader's comment line. And he typed, here's a present for you guys above. As he points, right? Laugh out loud. This is why America is so sad. He's calling you guys sad. The people that are investing him, okay? People behind masks entertaining you guys. 30,000 happy clients, so I'm not worried about one guy who was on day 63 of 90 day program without results yet. Watch the video from the guy directly, not from a guy who is scared to show his face. People, ask yourself the question, would I rather be entertained by Credit Crusader, who his voice could probably be identif identified anywhere? He's not afraid to list his actual Facebook handler and his name on his actual YouTube account, okay? He puts it out there, right there. Mike doesn't do that, but the Credit Crusader does. So the difference is, here it goes. I can talk to the gentleman with the Deadpool mask on who gives excellent, excellent, excellent time over time over time again. I wish I discovered him first, by the way, credit information on what to do, how to fight the system, how to get your life back. He doesn't charge you for it. He asks, would you like to support? Would you like to support the program? He asks, like anybody else out there with like OnlyFans pages, girls are showing their butts all day. This dude has a wealth of information that can make you smart and help you to beat the credit system and lists his name on his YouTube channel. Doesn't matter if he's wearing a mask, Dr. Mike. 
at least I don't look at Dr. Mike day in, day out, two videos a day, three times a week, open on Saturdays, who wears a mask right in front of us constantly. You don't know the real Dr. Mike, okay? Mr. Self-Implored Dr. Science Mike of credit. It's a joke. Mike, I challenge you to a debate. I do. We can go online and do it if you want to, email by email. The public can see it. I challenge you to go ahead and list and open up the 400,000 followers and subscribers you have. I challenge you to get one. Let me correct that. Let's, let's up it any because you can pay for anybody like that. I know you're pretty cheap because you won't get people their money back. I challenge you to give me 10%, okay, less than that. Let's do one. 30. I challenge you to find 30 of the people you claim to the 30,000 people that you helped to do a video to endorse you. I dare you to do it. Because on my video, I had 40 something likes, which I didn't expect. It was kind of like me shooting up a flare in the air out in the water with no, no lighthouse to fall to shore. But I challenge you, Mike, to put those up there. I, I really needed help. And 40 something people came forward, some victims of yours. Some people just don't like you because they know you're full of it. Okay, so as I go back to this and I think to myself, where am I really at? I'm at 3,000 less the money, okay? I don't plan on probably it's not gonna come back. I'm sure of it, it's not gonna come back, okay? Um, and, and, and do I feel that you're gonna return it back? I don't. So I'm a customer that has no satisfaction. So I'm still at the 590 today that I was, clearly back in April, 590 today. Nothing's changed on it. In fact, if anything, it's gotten worse. I've gotten more inquiries, so I think your, your algorithm of your specialized proprietary software letters is aggravating the credit bureaus. So now they're taking a position to actually go now and say, hey, you know what? Um, let's add this on and keep it open for these accounts so they can keep revolving, okay? Nothing has changed. If you wanted to make it right, Mike, at day 91, you would have refunded my money or given me half the money back and said, would you like to stay in the program? I'll continue to keep you the mastermind program, give you education and continue to fight this for you for the next year. That would have been fair, 1500 bucks, but you didn't even do that. No, you send Brock with some BS and your handlers who basically control your YouTube channel because if you speak out against Mike, your messages nine times out of 10 will be gone. He won't even approve them, okay? Or whoever's handling that, that website for him. So, Credit Crusader said it best. You want to hurt Mike bad? YouTube is his platform at 110%. That's how he advertises. That's how he gets the message out. That's how people call him. And that's how they lose their money. Do not invest in this man. Okay. Or his companies. Okay. I listed before. Okay. Wholesale trade lines. Elite deletions. The credit game out of Florida for education. Okay. On top of it now, he's claiming he's got basically mortgage people and houses and car dealerships. Watch out, people, because he's linking himself into somebody or something, part of the scam to take your money. Dangerous. You know, you don't believe me? Look up the Brandon Ashlock story. Brandon Ashlock. I won't have a chance because I'm not too savvy with what I need to do on the computers. That's why I rely on Credit Crusader and his platform. But look at it, you know, and, and see what his story is about. This poor guy, you know, he's been through hell and back trying to find his money. And to this date, he still hasn't got it back. Um, I'll add a comment section on the bottom. I'll try to attach those videos if uh, Credit Crusader doesn't take it. If you want to see the text messages that went on between me and the credit game and me and Elite Deletions, I'm going to hand those over to Credit Crusader with the hopes that he'll post them or he'll scrutinize them or he'll use it as a platform to educate. Um, I think it's only fair because he gave me down the line where it's at and he has a platform to get the message out and protect you against people like this. Um, People are good people out there, guys. You know, you, you, have, you have like basically uh, Jay, the credit guy. He's got the letters. He doesn't charge anything. He's good at what he does too. Everything credit is another guy out there. Um, these two guys have letters and they fight the system to where it can give you a better life and a better chance and they don't charge you for it. Um, folks, at the end of the day, all you have to rely on is, is you and your faith. That's it. That's the true things that are there. You and your faith to get what you need to get done in front of you. Don't listen to Dr. Mike, scam artist to the core. Um, to help him out, Credit Crusader, and to help you out yourself, you should do what the Credit Crusader said. Go on to, to, to any video, just start somewhere that Mike has. Report it, spam, misleading, spam, scam, spam, fraud. Write up the reason why if you lost money or if you don't trust him, just dislike it, okay? 
but report him. And what happens is those videos will get scrutinized by YouTube because that's what I did. I do about 10 a day. I go through all old videos, current, and what he does, I'm subscribed to him. He's kicked me off, I'm subscribed again. Do your homework on this guy. He is not a good person whatsoever. And he deserves what's coming to him in the sense of not physical harm, but losing everything, having to pay it back. He deserves to have that happen to him. Not his wife, not his kids. You know, it really doesn't. And it's sad to me to think that he has a wife and kids, the kids especially, but I, I feel like Val's a part of it. She's constantly doing his bidding, his cover up. She's trying to protect him. I, 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 good wife, good wife, but blind. Blinders are on, she has no clue. So Mike, they're coming for you. They're coming for you. And it is not gonna be a good day for you, buddy. I get no gratification to watch you go to jail. I get only gratification to know that you'll have to pay people back. That's the God honest truth. And I truly mean it when I say it. God bless out there. Educate yourself. Credit Crusader. Follow that guy. Amazing information. And I'll send another video as time goes by. Take care. Yeah. Uh, yo, Mike, this gotta stop. Listen up. Uh, why? Listen, man. Yeah. Stop ripping people off.